buy that for a dollar. Hey, you sexy people, it's Vash again with more PAX 2013 stuff. The next game I'll be talking about is Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus, which uh, I was actually pretty excited for when I when I heard it heard about it when it was announced because now it's finally a traditional Ratchet and Clank game. The past over the years, the past few years, Ratchet and Clank has been sucking ass. Ratchet and Clank All for One was fucking boring, and Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault was fucking boring. <laughs> like. I, I didn't like those games at all. Ratchet and Clank All for One. I remember I was pretty pumped when I bought it because I'm like four player Ratchet. Fuck yeah! Got home, had brain there, had uh, had a group of people there ready to play it. We played that shit for like an hour and we were so bored. Like I don't know what it was about. It just wasn't any fun. Um, and then Full Frontal Assault came out and that was like an extreme budget title. The game came out and it was only twenty bucks. And it's just a tower defense game. And like I literally played it for like ten minutes, and I was like, mm -hmm. "Okay, that's that's cool." And then I just never played it again. But now we have actually have a traditional Ratchet and Clank game, Into the Nexus. Um, Into the Nexus is supposed to be the epilogue to the Ratchet and Clank Future series, which uh, is the you know it's the final part, ex wrapping up all stuff, tying up the loose ends. And uh, I'm pretty pumped for it. My, I can honestly say that my all-time favorite Ratchet and Clank game is probably, is probably a Crack in Time. A Crack in Time was the first Ratchet and Clank game that I actually could not put down, and I 100%ed it. Usually with Ratchet and Clank, as sad as it sounds, uh, with the older ones with Ratchet and Clank One and Up Your Arsenal and uh, Going Commando, I would always play, get it. I'd play the shit out of it. I'd get really close to the end. And I would just never play it again. Like I'd get bored right towards the end, or I wouldn't say bored. It would just I would just I would get to that point where I'm like, oh, I had fun. Let me play. Oh, I'm gonna pay attention to something else for a second, and then I'll just never go back to playing it. I'll then eventually go back to playing it months later, and find out that I was like 10 minutes away from the final boss. You can ask Link. He's beaten like. At least two or three of my Ratchet and Clank games where, like, he'll come over and be like, Oh, I want to play Ratchet and Clank, and I'll be like, Well, just continue my game. I'm, I don't know where I'm at. He'll put it in and beat the game in, like, ten minutes. That's happened so many fucking times. Which means I need to go back and play those. But the Future series was actually really fun to me. I had a lot of fun with Ratchet and Clank Future. And uh, with a crack in time being my absolute favorite one so far. Uh, the older Ratchet and Clank games I really liked. They were a lot of fun. I, like I said before, I just didn't really finish them. I beat them all eventually, but it took me a while. Um, the older Ratchet and Clank games, honestly, are so similar to me that I couldn't really, like, I couldn't really tell them apart. As sad as that sounds, like, for example, uh, um, I, I can honestly only tell the games apart by what Ratchet wore and the color of the HUD. Like, of course, I know Ratchet and Clank 1 is the first one because he's wearing, like, fucking green shorts and he's not wearing any shoes. But, um, uh, Up Your Arsenal and Going Commando, I can honestly only really tell apart by the HUD and the clothes he wore. Like, Up Your Arsenal was probably the one I had the least amount of experience with because when I bought that game, a friend, I had it for, like, two or three days and a friend was like, hey, can I borrow it? Let him borrow it and the fucker moved away. And I haven't rebought the game until, like, when the HD collection came out, so I was just devastated. But I, they're they're extremely similar. I honestly started getting, I started really getting sick of Ratchet and Clank games. I'm like, it's just gonna be the same game with rehashed weapons. They always claim like we have new weapons, and there'll be like one new weapon, but then like you still have a pistol that's just called something else, but it's still a pistol. It still shoots the same shit. You got. The same bomb glove grenade, you've got a shotgun, like a shock rifle, whatever, like you always have the same guns, they're just called something different, and they might be a different color, or instead of a blue laser, you'll shoot a green laser, like, I was getting kind of fed up with the games after a while, opinion, and this game actually looks really good. Uh, I think it's funny that I've been talking for five minutes and haven't even really talked about the game yet. <laughs> That's how passionate. I had to give a backstory on it. So Into the Nexus, I was playing it, and 
it's it's really different. There's a lot of, uh, I, I wouldn't call them, I guess you could call them gimmicks, but there was a lot of stuff that made it stand out, just like a crack in time had the time stuff with Clank, and it had like the going to the planets and collecting the gold bolts and stuff like that was really different and made the game stand out 110 percent that's why i really really liked it because i was like oh this is so brand new but this one has like this thing with like this puzzle segment with clank when you have to use gravity with the right stick it's a lot of gravity mechanics there's like this gravity gun you get that kind of teleports you not teleports you it makes you float to stuff and um, I was using that shotgun. I had a I had a blast with this game. It, it was a lot of fun. I'm actually really excited for this one to come out now. It it's it's got different aspects to it, like a crack in time did, instead of just being the same game with new weapons. Um, I, probably the the out of all the new weapons that I used, probably my favorite one was like this snow gun. Uh, I don't have any footage of this one. Um, the the footage I recorded was was it was like unusable. It was really it's kind of fucked up so I just got like some trailers and stuff but uh, it was a lot of fun I, my favorite weapon on there was probably the there was like a I can't remember what it was called but like you shot enemies and it turned them in the snowman and then you'd punch them and they'd like blow up I thought that was like fucking fun that was pretty cool I know that that's probably a really fun job sitting there and coming up with new ideas for these crazy and wacky guns and I'm sure that whoever's job that was for the past few years either got really fucking lazy or they didn't want to work there anymore or something. <laughs> but I'm glad that they're actually stepping up and doing something new for a change. But Ratchet & Clank Into the Nexus. I am absolutely excited to play it. I am pumped. I can't wait. I will definitely be getting it the day it comes out. I'd love to do a playthrough on all the Ratchet & Clank games at some point in time. Along with Jack and Daxter. But yeah. I just hope that this game has the same feeling that Kraken Time gave me. <sighs> Kraken Time, man. I really, really enjoyed that game. That was so much fun. And this one looks very promising. I was having a ridiculous amount of fun when I was playing the demo, too. Had, like, that same feeling. So I'm really, really excited. But, uh, let me guys... Let me guys... Let me know what you guys think in the in the comments below. Uh, like, do you guys really like... Do you guys like Ratchet & Clank games? Do you not? Do you like Jack better? Do you like... like do you like the other... He gets compared to a lot of other people. Um, do you feel the same way that I feel? That like the games kind of started to blend together, and they were they were just getting a little lame because it's just the same shit. Or uh, uh, did you guys like All for One? Did you not? Did you like Full Frontal Assault? Did you not? <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, let me know what you guys think about the Ratchet and Clank series as a whole. Does this game look interesting to you? Will you be getting it? Uh, there's no exact release date, but it's it's supposed to come out winter 2013. I'm not even sure if it's going to be a disc or a download. So, regardless, I'm going to... Somehow I'm getting this bitch. And it is going to be fun. So, will you guys be getting it? Let me know. Um, yep, I'll see you in the next stuff. Bye! Bye-bye!